Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and we're going to mix from scratch part two. I was going to call it fix this mix, but we're not really fixing the previous horrible, oh my God, what was I thinking mix? We started over from scratch. So anyway, if you'd pretty please like, share, and subscribe, join the Discord, follow me on social media, that'd be great. Not forcing you, not twisting your arm. Do it if you want. Anyway, we're going to start with the drums. So what I normally do is when I get a track that has samples with it, I go ahead and I just mute them. But first, before I get in with that, all these tracks that I'm not going to use, I need to um, take care of. So down here, I'm going to double click and then I'm going to drag this over. And I went and searched earlier to see if there was a way to turn this into a folder track down here in the mixer panel and uh, no. So I'm just going to click this, tell it to be a folder. And seeing as there's nothing in the back, I'm going to go ahead and just mute that and just, I could, I could have just left those muted, but anyway, we'll just unmute those because they're already muted in the folder. I'm gonna, Close this and I'm going to go up to view, track manager. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide it down here. What is this? Oh, that's new. I, that wasn't there before. F, nice. Sweet. That, I've been wanting that. These, um, little collapsible folder in the track manager was not there before. So that's awesome. So, cause usually I would have to do it to each and every track that's in the folder to get it away, to get it to hide and then hide the folder. Now I don't have to, I can just hide the whole damn folder and it hides everything in it. So that's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> did not know. I didn't know. Now I do. And now, now you do too. It's late. Anyway, let me scroll back up here to the drums and I'm going to go ahead and mute all the drum samples. Do do, I can find them all. Wait, was there no snare samples? Let me see. Oh, there was one snare sample and a reverse snare. Okay. So there was a kick and a snare sample. And I guess that was um, it. All right, so I'm just going to open this down here. All right, so I'm going to solo uh, the drums. And I don't know how loud this is going to be because I turned everything back up. So rewind, and we're going to... Where do the drums start? Way over here. Didn't I? I thought I fixed that. All right. Let's press play. Okay, that's still too loud. That is way too, way too loud. I turned that down, really, I did. Uh, so is it just this explosion track right here? I think. Yeah. Yeah, I turned that way down, Let's see. All right, so let me uh, turn this down there too. Um, sneak up on it again. Okay, there's an explosion symbol. And then I think these two reverse. Yeah. All right, that kick needs some help. So I'm going to go 
get an EQ. Do, 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 do. Should we do, let's just do all Reaper plugins for this. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to get re -EQ. Or there's another one, but I think that's with um, Repack. And a Repack is a pain in the butt to deal with. So I'm just going to get re -EQ. Drag it over here. And I can like make this bigger. So I'm not so blind. So I'm going to high pass. Not that frequency. Go 20. And then there's some kind of like boominess with it. So let's see here. Let me just listen to it. Two. Gain it up. All right, I'm going to try a low pass over here. too much. So we're going to get EQ for the snare top. I wish it would remember how big I would like to have my plugins. Thank you so much. That would be lovely. I'll hit the reverse snare in a little bit. So I'm going to solo this real quick. High pass. See what that sounds like. Kick still sounds a little ringy. So snare bottom. Listen to that real quick. I probably can't. Actually, let me get the top in with it. Okay, so I'm just going to drag that one down with it, but I'm going to, like, disable that one. And listen to them together. see if it sounds different with it enabled. Okay. I'll leave that then. Oh, something about that reverse snare is annoying me. Um, hmm. All right, let me hear the hat. Okay, I definitely need an EQ because there's just too much low end in the hi hat. So high pass, high pass, high pass. It 
doesn't sound like there's a lot of hi-hat in that hat track. I could hear little bits, but not a lot. What happened there? Hang on. So what all I wanted to do was to drag the overheads up. I did not want to make a folder out of the hat track. So, hmm. Let me hear it. Let me, let me just hear the drums all together. Oh, that's funny. The hats are on the other side. Okie dokie. Close this. Rack. Let's see. Alright, let me hear the rack toms. Okay, let me um let me hear these over here. So I'm going to probably slice and jack this one up a little bit. Okay. Let's hear it in the track. Okay. So, again, re-EQ. Do, do, do. I wish I could save this as default size. If I could get it to, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna high pass. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna drag a selection box and I'm gonna have it repeat over here. That way I can hear it and make adjustments. Escape the time selection, turn the repeat off, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this EQ down to the floor tom and adjust it from there. So I think right here, so low. All right, hang on. There we go. This section. All right. Sounds good to me. In the oops, wait, hang on. In the track. Double crash. What I, I think I need to get these um, thunder drums dealt with first because they're a little much. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and add my EQ somewhere. 
Oh, if I didn't have to drag out to make it bigger, that'd be great. All right, so where are the thunder drums? Where do they start? Right here, solo. That is a bit much. Hi guys. That one, I believe. Let's see, where were we? We were at the crashes. I still don't think I need. <sighs> a stereo on on this. I really don't. Let's see, where are the overheads? Drag these down. Solo them. Is it not? Where does that hit? Can't really hear. Hmm. FX. Add. EQ. If anybody knows a way to, like, I don't know, pick these default large scale so I can see what I'm doing because uh, it's getting really annoying having to what you call it make them so nah. give it a high pass way far away that's a little brittle let's try this alright you know what I am just going to Repeat that. Shelf. See. Might be a little extreme, but it's like super loud. Can turn it down too. I think I will. A little bit. Still think that stinking explosion down here is too much. All right, let's go ahead and do the overheads. Q. Because I want to get through like the drums right off the bat. And then um, I won't make um, I won't make decisions on the samples until um, I'm further in. When I start doing um, like the the bass guitar and vocals and all that, the synthesizers and all that stuff, so high pass somewhere. Why would I need an all pass? I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> so overheads, because we don't really need to hear the kick in the overheads. Okay, I'm still on repeat. That's not what I want. something and it can't be in this no there's something else booming somewhere like constant is it still these it is so all right let's see if we can figure this out
What are those? The thunder drums. All right, the saucer explosion. Not sure if that's the symbol or just a big old drum hit. Both. So, EQ. We're just all about the EQ today. We're all about the EQ today. All right, so let me, um, yeah, high shelf, gain it down. Might need to do it sooner than that, like right there. Let's hear it. Back up here. Okay, explosion symbol is taking my head off, so let's deal with that first. You know what? I'm just gonna go, just go ahead and distract this down and change it. I might have to change that one because we hear it in the track. Because by itself, it just sounded like, oh, it did it, and then we're going to hit it again. And it's like, man, I'm going to need to split that, crossfade it. No, it's fine. It's just it's just way obnoxious. So move, do the explosion kick. Maybe. Can you just drag? There we go. Use this. Listen. Okay. Uh, it needs to be there. Okay, that's not where I want it. Frequency needs to be somewhere over here, maybe. Or over here. There we go. Maybe a little too wide. And in with the drums. Okay, let's use our reverse symbols. So, let's see. I'll take the explosion symbol and drag it down here. And uh, listen to it. Well, that kind of got everything sucked out of it, didn't it? Turn that off. Alright, let me just... Can we play? Again? Okay. So I don't need all that low-end information in it. real quick. What about this kick? Oops. I think I might leave that kick sample in. I know I, what I said earlier, but the kick sounded kind of just bleh. So, let's see. Let me unmute the snare sample real quick, too. I don't think that snare sample is adding anything and we forgot the reverse snare is that the only time there's only a few bits where it plays let's see yeah I don't think that has any kind of or at least it shouldn't 
And then we use preset, reset. I don't think it has any low end. Well, maybe a little bit. Uh, surface. There we go. That'll work. And I think. Yeah, I don't really need to EQ the the samples because they're usually pretty well much EQ'd when they're done. So I think we're finished with the drums for right now. Yep. And then next time we will go and work on the bass guitar and get the bass and kick to play nice together. Wouldn't that be awesome? Get the rhythm section going. Anyway, how do you deal with your drums? How do you start? Do you do get the drums going? Get you get the get the rhythm going first before you do anything else? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.